All right, there's no way of getting around it. This run is going to be a goddamn nightmare. Uh, this was ostensibly suggested by Zen, aka like Zen and Cyrene of the uh, Zen and Cyrene and Green 9090 race that we did a while ago when we were talking off camera. He mentioned that he'd done this run, which you're gonna understand in just a second here. Uh, where ba which ones are are they all mine? Um, where you have unlimited item power and anarchist cookbook, but you simply can't attack using tears, which I think I've already kind of broken myself. Can I just not kill Pride with Anarchist Cookbook? Is that how this works? So this is a run that I expect is going to be borderline impossible. I think it's just it literally impossible to hit Pride with Anarchist Cookbook. That is the worst possible start for this run. In any case, we're just going to kill Pride, then we're going to continue onwards with a run that should work in all likelihood. That is probably the only enemy in the game. Uh, that will fall victim to that. And just as soon as I picked up this card, I was like, okay, gotta use Chariot on the next room. Uh, but no, we are gonna use Anarchist Cookbook and no tears from this point on. So I had to use tears, unfortunately, to fight Pride, but uh, unless it's absolutely necessary, I will never use tears again for the remainder of the fight, or remainder of the match, remainder of the run, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna abstain uh, 100%, or at least 100% of the time when I have some control over the issue, at least. Uh, all other items, I believe, are okay, like, especially we're gonna need HP upgrades from bosses and things like that. Sacrificial Knife doesn't really hurt us. Doesn't help us all that much, but it doesn't really hurt us that much either. I actually just placed a bomb there, rather than using Anarchist Cookbook. It's gonna give us the kind of money that we could possibly use to go to the shop and buy something... ...useful, maybe? I realize I shouldn't sound so inquisitive there, but... This is a run where I just imagine shit is going to get absolutely insane once we get a little bit further in. But hopefully, you know, for right now it seems okay. Things can change quickly though. So we're going to see. These pills could be make or break this early on. Tears down is literally meaningless. So getting two of those is not a big deal. Luck down is kind of not great. And full health. Alright, so that was not worth what we spent. At least I don't need to buy that heart there for another three cents, but I did buy the key for five cents just so we can go to the item room for sure on the next floor. Uh, and here we go. We're basically going to fight this boss. I'm going to use the chariot first, and then from that point on, I'll probably use Anarchist Cookbook. Because right now, I want to take out Famine when he's in his most vulnerable state. Oh, wow. I actually managed to kill him completely. So we barely used Anarchist Cookbook at all on this floor. I promise you that will change. That was just a very weird intersection of events. Here we go. So I basically don't even need my right hand on the keyboard. And the thing I think is going to be most frustrating about this run is running into these situations where the bombs just simply do not want to go uh, where I need them to go to do damage to enemies. Alright, I took a hit there, but I survived and we have finished that room. My optimistic projection for where this run is going to finish maybe we could get to the mom fight. I have no hope of basically winning the mom fight at all, but getting to it might be uh, possible with a little bit of luck and maybe a little bit of adaptation to how things are supposed to go on a run like this. Uh, and maybe if I could fly, I could go even a little bit further than that, because right now I'm a slave to like the level of, Jesus Christ, the level layouts we get. It's our item, mini mush. That could potentially be good. Uh, the speed could be really beneficial, actually, and we're gonna check out... I was exactly hoping for Book of Revelations, just so I could get one Spirit Art. I don't want to abuse the system, uh, but just picking up one Spirit Art gives me enough to at least probably make it through this boss right here. So who are we dealing with? We're gonna be dealing with the regular version of Monstro. Well, actually, it's gray version of Monstro, but it's regular Monstro himself, like, not Monstro 2. Wafer would be a beautiful item. Um, homing Bombs would probably be really good. Because they would keep me from attacking myself most of the time. But beyond that, I'm basically just hoping to stack health upgrades. Uh, because otherwise I'm going to find myself dead very quickly. And getting an HP upgrade like that early on. A tears upgrade as well doesn't really mean anything to us. But hey, at least we're still alive here. It's kind of surprising given that this is going to be an exceptionally challenging run. Not just challenging, it's, it's almost to a certain extent it's luck based. But as soon as uh, Zen described the run to me, I was like, there's no way... I cannot do that, because it's going to be hilarious, at the very least. So let's see what this pill is. Balls of Steel, beautiful. That is very beneficial for us, of course. Uh, with the 11 cents, it's probably worth checking out the shop, just in case we get, like, a spirit heart inside of it, like so. Uh, worth buying the key, I would say, as well. You might be saying, Northern Land, you're not saving much money to buy uh, items from the shop, you know, like the 15 cent items, like Mom's Purse and whatnot. Well, 
Yeah, that's true, but that's because most of the 15 cent items from the shop are not valuable when you already have a space bar item that you're basically contractually obligated to hold for the remainder of your, your run, so, as we are in this case. So I'm gonna check out our secret room here, which is gonna have us even more money. Basically what I'm trying to say is, you know, battery, 9 volt, nuns have, and none of that stuff really matters in our current situation. Because we already have infinite item power, and if anything else, we kind of want to use our item less. The less we use our spacebar item, the better. And I'm really pissed off with those uh, green dudes. Or the guys who shoot green bombs. Because if you shoot green bombs, you can actually adjust or conflict with my placement of regular shots. Or of regular anarchist cookbooks, which can cause a problem. Might as well fight the boss here, is what I'm thinking, and then uh, after we fight the boss, which is gonna give us our second cube of meat, which is gonna be totally worthless because we can't fire in the first place, thus, Meat Boy will not fire either. Uh, but who knows, maybe th the good thing about this is that it does give us the chance to get to level 3 cube of meat, which does give us the chance to possibly do more damage without using anarchist cookbook, which is very valuable. Not outside of the spirit of the run, I would suggest, because I've earned the items, it's not like I. Just picked up mom's knife and started using it saying like, huh, oh, you said no tears, mom's knife is in tears, it's a knife. Like, I'm playing within the, the rules of the engagement, I would say. Anyway, we'll take this, see what we've got in here, hopefully not Krampus. It's not Krampus, none of those items really appeal to me though. I don't know what I would want. I guess flying, if there had been Spirit of the Night or Lord of the Pit, probably would have gone in on those, but uh, everything else is basically worthless. So we're going to see if we can kill these guys in the first hit, and indeed we can. And we pick up Mom's Pad, which means we are not going to pick up Mom's Pad. We're just going to get the hell out of there. And hope for some more Tinted Rocks at some point. But for now, let us just continue mooning, moving onwards. Continue mooning onwards! No, you don't move onwards, you moon backwards. Classic mistake. But we're going to see Caves Part 2, and these guys are going to be deceased. Excellent. Uh, have we already seen that pill? I can't help but feel like we've already seen that pill. By the way, I apologize if you guys can hear my space bar. As I mentioned a couple videos ago, I am back in uh, my ancestral home. Lockdown. Well, we don't want to take two of those, that's for sure. Uh, and my my desk here is actually small to the point where... It, like, not just small, but also cramped, so it's difficult for me to take the keyboard off the desk. Uh, or I get, like, mad carpal tunnel syndrome pains in my hand. Not that I have carpal tunnel syndrome, I'm not trying to... Uh, oh, we'll just get out of there. <laughs> I'm not trying to, uh, you know, make my life seem difficult for people who actually have carpal tunnel syndrome, because I don't actually have carpal tunnel syndrome. My wrist starts to cramp up when I put, like, my keyboard on my lap, so I have to keep my keyboard on my desk. Otherwise, uh, you, I won't be a happy northern lion, that's for sure. So we killed him very easily. I'm just going to use Anarchist Cookbook to try to get to this uh, Tinted Rock over here, actually. I guess I could just place a bomb. That's probably faster, at least. So let's do that instead. And that'll give us one spirit heart, which is worth our time, I would say. And we are going to continue moving onwards. So far, I... I don't know, man. I normally, I like to call how I'm doing on a run, but in a run like this, it's just impossible to say because... Like, it's, I'm not gonna say it's random or anything like that, like our, our success isn't random, it's just... Impossible to predict, given the variety of conditions that we are gonna be faced with as we move on throughout the galaxy here. Thought we were playing FTL for a second, sorry. As we move on throughout the basement of my mother's house, I don't really know the overarching setting of the Binding of Isaac. I guess it, it all takes place within Mom's house, yes. But, uh, I have taken a lot of damage that I probably should not have. We'll pick up Wiggle Worm, just because there's no reason not to pick up Wiggle Worm, I guess. And it does, beyond that, it makes us kind of look like a Warren Beatty type character. With the eyebrows and the teeth all like that, I mean, he's a handsome dude, I can understand why people would be into that. Uh, it just, it makes Isaac look totally different. We're gonna use an anarchist cookbook here just to see if maybe I can get some of that money. Yeah, I did create some bridges for myself, which is good. Uh, there is also a... Nickel down here. And it has exploded, so now we'll go to the shop, because we have the money. Nun's habit is absolutely worthless for us, obviously. So I guess it is onwards to the boss room. If we make it to Mom, and God forbid actually succeed, I would consider this run to be a success. Just making it to her is a success in its own right, I think. But making it making it to her and somehow beating her would be fantastic. Kind of unlikely. Like, in particular, I'm thinking, like, how am I going to beat Mom with only bombs? Like, I'm basically just going to spam Anarchist Cookbook and hope for the best, I guess, which is... 
When you put it that way, it doesn't sound that bad because that's kind of what we're doing anyway. Uh, we're just continuing to use our Anarchist Cookbook constantly. There we go, we finally got the Silkworm. Picked up an extra bomb for our troubles, which is not worthless because we are going to... Oh, Jesus. There we go. Uh, we are going to be using those bombs for things like Tinted Rocks or maybe like more nuanced combat, shall we say. Now, this is the kind of room where things can get tough quickly. But actually, I got perfect bomb placement there. I still got hit, but uh, perfect bomb placement from Anarchist Cookbook to kind of protect me there. Alright, we got a little chub. Now, or regular Chubb, I guess. I don't think Chubb will actually eat... Oh, man, that was bad. I don't think Chubb will actually eat any of these. I am just not predicting the uh, placement and movement of these bombs effectively at all, am I? One more should do it. Please, just another HP upgrade. Like, that's borderline necessary at this point. But at least we're done with this boss fight, provided I can kill this last Silkworm. And indeed, I can. Well, I can is a little bit of a misnomer, I would say. A misattribution. The game can, through the power and benevolence of the random number generator. Now this is a tricky room for something like this. I kind of just want these spiders to run into me and, uh, you know, we'll let uh, the, 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 the sacrificial dagger do its dirty work, but this is not good, as you can probably imagine. And we've had some fairly difficult times here in the early game. There's a nice little kick to get those guys killed. Uh, not the early game, but the early part of this floor, anyway. And things might get more difficult. Wow. I don't know where that spirit heart came from, but I'll take it. Uh, and if we get in trouble here, we're just gonna run. I really just want this last nub to be- t Oh, come on. This last nub to be taken out as soon as possible. I mean, it is a dead end, so I guess it doesn't matter, but I kinda want the item. That's just a bomb. Check out our secret room quickly. Oh, that's actually really good. That was our second secret room. Get out of here, pick up the money. Where's the money, Lebowski? Well, apparently it's in this room with the blue nubs, like an asshole. But we're gonna continue, again, so far so good. To a certain extent, we're still trucking along at four health here. Not a lot. Uh, and now that spirit heart that I was just about to mention is gone, I absolutely hate this room. Yeah, even when you can't win for losing there. Bad dodge, and I dodged uh, into the enemy blue spike, sadly. Okay, well, at least we got a spirit heart back. We got a few more cents. I really just need more HP upgrades. Like, that's been a very sore spot for us so far in this run. And again, this is a room where the ability to fly would have at least made it possible for me to not take damage there. As is right now, though, I'm kind of at the mercy of the game. I really need some flying ability. Well, Eternal Heart is basically going to function as a Spirit Heart. We'll probably lose it on this very room. Maybe not. Okay, we lived a little bit longer. We got more keys. Uh, I d here's the thing. I do want to go to that chest. But we're not going to be able to, so we're just going to book it. Now, this is a better room for me. This is a room where I have the potential... Oh my god, the bomb's still basically like homed in on me through Brownie in Motion. I really, like, I know I can afford to take two hits technically, but I really feel like I can't afford to take the next hit because, okay, now I can have a little bit more leeway, but if I got down to, like, one, oh, thanks for the bomb bag, if I got down to one hit or one health remaining, uh, I would just be, like, oh, god, constantly concerned, shall we say. That was bad, but, uh, I didn't see any other way through that, basically. This is basically a, a, a testament to two things. Like, if you're able to win on a run like this, it's a testament to your ability to survive by dodging, and it's a testament to your ability to gauge where the hell these bombs are going to interact with each other, or how they're going to interact with each other. Shouldn't have stood still, but we made it work. Come on, just kill the nub, please. I'm trying... whatever, we'll just leave. We know this has to be the right way, so there's not really too much uh, incentive for me to just stand around. And I'm really relying on the green nub, believe it or not, to actually help me out a lot here. At least a little bit, please. I think that silkworm's gonna die, so we should be alright. I was really hoping that was not gonna be greed. I was really itching for the opportunity to pick up some kind of health. Spirit heart would have been beautiful. Uh, I just want to kill him without getting hit. Is that so much to ask? This is Topsy Turvy World. We get the steam sail. May help us. Probably won't, though, considering we're going into the last floor. And really, this is a moment of truth right here. Are we going to be able to survive against whatever our boss is? If it's Peep, it's even worse. <laughs> if it was Peep, I was going to say it might be 
The bloat obviously does not increase those chances. Especially champion version of the bloat uh, that... Where did he go? Uh, champion version of the bloat that shoots green bombs. Now, we could always get lucky. Or incredibly unlucky. Escape, escape. We're fucked. Man, that is a difficult run. Uh, I think I'm gonna call it there. Uh, I, I had fun with it. I think that was pretty much what I expected. Uh, but that is a run that I think is outside of my wheelhouse. If I was gonna make that run work for me. Like if I was gonna do an Anarchist Cookbook 2.0 or something, how would I do it? Or if you want to play this run at home, how would I balance it? Uh, give yourself Mr. Mega, Homing Bombs, maybe even Poison Bombs. Uh, and maybe like two or three health upgrades at the start, because otherwise you're going to find yourself in a difficult position very, very quickly on a run like that. But that was a lot of fun. Thank you to Zen for suggesting that one. Uh, and as always, thank you guys for watching. Continue suggesting your challenge runs. I've just been doing a number of ones that I thought of off the top of my head here. But uh, keep leaving your challenge runs in the comments, and I will do the ones that I see and deem most entertaining or appropriate. Again, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.